Well, one of the things that you did, David, early on was you visited uh, various battlefields uh, in Europe along the Western Front. And I was wondering, you know, so many thousands of people, you know, as tourists go there and they're very moved by those battlefields. What was your reason for going there and what was the personal effect on you? Well, my reason was, it was I was close to finished with the book. And I mean, I'd been over to Europe many times before, but I hadn't really been in the spots where people fell, where people shed their blood. And I thought, I just it's going to be helpful for me to understand the whole picture if I can go to those battlefields and go to the cemeteries, those beautiful, impressive, giant cemeteries in yes. northern France and, and in Belgium. And so I went, I was almost a little bit surprised by my reaction. That I kept feeling this sort of subtle pressure from these cemeteries and memorials to think, weren't our people wonderful? Weren't we the great triumphant people who saved the world? And I found myself increasingly kind of appalled by that when I realized how much this glorification of war induces further generations to, you know, step up to the plate and be heroic. And I just, I just wanted to, being there amidst thousands of military graves made me want to reconsider what was it that, you know, cause these men to lose their lives. 